Welcome to our beautiful education adventure series and here I am on the far north coast of New South Wales and it's a glorious day for learning. This workshop series is all about looking after ourselves. I'd argue that we're pretty good at looking after other people but when it comes to our own health we often fall a little short. So this walk and talk series is about ways to really address the problems of stress management, about having an awareness of what makes us tick but most importantly having some practical strategies that you can take away that help you build resilience and better work-life balance. Recent surveys of GPs showed that last year 50% of GPs thought about tossing the towel in. That's a lot of GPs. Not all of them did it, but they thought about it. Now those same surveys were done with nurses and other clinicians and pretty much the same sort of results. Healthcare professionals care for others, don't care for themselves. Pretty obvious. I think as health professionals we're so often focused on getting the job done, doing the best for our patients that we may not develop an awareness of how stressed we actually are. And some of those symptoms of stress may be reasonably subtle at the beginning. They, they may be that you start to avoid doing paperwork, that you start to become overly critical or start to run late, become very reactive to situations that normally wouldn't have phased you. The trouble with stress, if it's not addressed, is if it goes on in a chronic manner, you can really start moving towards burnout. Burnout is a real problem because often the signs can be things like exhaustion, where you just start to feel really tired for no particular reason. You start to feel pretty critical and jaded. And at the end case scenario, you may start to feel disengaged. It's a three day workshop combined with an edgy venture. So in the mornings, Caroline works you through the workshop, the, the topics of the workshop, like self-management, stress management, uh, your workplace management. And then we walk. We walk for up to 20 kilometres along the most beautiful stretches of beaches in Australia. This is what we call an edgy venture because not only do you get an adventure, but you get education. And for doctors, like the doctors that are on the program, they get CPD points that goes towards their re-accreditation, as do some of the other professions like nurses and so on. We just find that whole combination of the education and the adventure is such a powerful mix where people actually get not just an hour in a lecture to talk about it or an hour in a workshop to, to play with each other with it, but a whole three days to sort of reflect and discuss. I think it's important that if we start to value wellness in others, that we start to value wellness in ourselves. And in many ways, that means walking the walk. I think that we're far more authentic as practitioners if we actually start to adopt some of the healthy practices that we'd be recommending to our patients. And that includes healthy lifestyle factors like good nutrition, exercise, sleep, and having good mental health. I think that if we develop strategies that really allow us to have all of these things infused into our, our weekly routine, that we're more resilient practitioners and we enjoy the journey along the way. Well, what a great experience it's been, uh, this edu venture. I've got to say, walking all this distance, talking to some wonderful people, mixing the concept of education with an adventure is such a great idea. You're more receptive to new ideas. Um, you're feeling good and you're enjoying the environment with which we live in. It's a great way to learn. So we've had an amazing time the last few days and I'm here to have a break from my family and my practice and I guess spend some quality time with like-minded individuals who want to get out in nature and walk the walk. I've had some incredible conversations along the way um, and the coastline is such a beautiful place to um, open dialogues uh, so naturally and I come out of it with this sense of support network around me of other um, amazing individuals doing the same thing and some great tools that have come from Caroline, uh, John and the team. Well, we had a dietitian which was new from last time and therefore it just brought in an extra dimension plus having Dr. Uh, Caroline West was amazing because she brought in a lot of other skills and um, this time the, the focus was on physicians wellness themselves and how it could be translating and that was a something that I have been aware of but I never had formally thought about so from that sense it was fantastic. The whole three days have been fantastic in terms of getting different ideas from each other, sharing our experiences and we come from such a different range of disciplines and fields that it's been really great just seeing how other people do things so we can take away whether it's a you know, really small change or some bigger changes as well. So the whole trip has been a really good combination of learning from each other, exercising and relaxation, which is absolutely perfect. What more do you want really? Hey.